Hi, we're here in Los Angeles today to prove that people will believe anything you say about FIFA's World Cup if you look like a newsman and are holding a microphone. Each time a goal is scored this year, the ball is filled with fireworks and will actually explode into a celebratory fireworks display. Do you think that will make the game more exciting? That will be fun to watch. Mm -hmm. I would watch that. Some people are concerned about the injuries that it's caused in other games this year. Do you think that they should be worried about injuries in the World Cup like that? Well, they get injured, right, when they're playing the sports anyways. Mm -hmm. I mean, what are a few burns? It's okay. okay. So this year, there's a legends team of stars from the 70s and 80s who will be playing against other teams in the World Cup. Do you think they have a chance, even though they're older? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely they have a chance. I mean, their experience, and if they can get out there and run, I, I think they have a chance. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are excited that Pele is coming back to play on the legends team. Do you think if 73-year-old man has a good chance of keeping up with the younger players? If he's in good shape, yeah, but I mean, if you actually look at it, 73 years old, I mean, if you live that long, it's really based on like how hard you work. Well, one of the fields this year is actually going to have trees on it. It's the rainforest field. Do you think that will affect different players from other countries? I think it'll be more what comes along with the trees, whether it's like insects or changes in the climate or something mm -hmm. that would affect the players more. This year, Hans Flores, the nine-year-old from Finland, is playing in the World Cup. Kenny Chopper, Quasi Sprinkle, Tino Horror. Hans Flores, he's a nine-year-old player from Finland playing in the World Cup. There's going to be a lot of jealous nine-year-olds out there, but hey, if he's got the stuff. I mean, if he has the skills, then all for it, you know, mm -hmm. no discrimination. Mm -hmm. Oh no, he's a baby! I'm actually oh. picturing like this little kid just getting <laughs> stomped on by every... <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. So all players have the right to carry a gun with them on the field to avoid possible kidnappings that might occur in Brazil. Do you think it's wise to have players on the field armed? No, but I think the ref shit. Yeah? Yeah, the refs should have guns. So this year, Russia is requiring their players to wear full track suits so that gay people can't see their bare skin while they play. Do you think that that is a bright thing to do? I don't know. I don't, I'm not into that stuff, so okay. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I got both looking at me all the time. <laughs> track suits in the hot summer weather just doesn't go. Look at here. There's people walking around with barely anything. The Victorian area has come and gone. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, it's gone now. This year, Texas is actually fielding a team for the World Cup. If they beat the United States, they earn the right to actually secede from the Union. What do you think about that? I'm a fellow Texan, and uh, I believe it's in our declaration or something. We can already secede. So this year, the Taliban is fielding a team. Do you think that they should have a team in the World Cup? Absolutely. I think everyone's entitled to play. I mean, if we're going to start singling them out for things, for everything, then it's never going to be solved, is it? Good point. Great. Super. These are issues that I, you know, I've never been, never knew about. I don't think most American knows about it. I don't think they do either. That's why we're doing it. New Mexico has a similar arrangement. If they beat the United States, they can actually rejoin old Mexico. Do you think that'll happen? I don't know. This is very interesting. I've never heard this topic. This is like gambling it's like big, for statehood yeah i'd like to see something happen change is cool mm -hmm. uh let's roll some dice